Hundreds of Utah high school students who just earned an advanced diploma heard last week that they may not get credit, at least college credit, for the program historically has offered. International Baccalaureate Program, a rigorous internationally recognized diploma for entry into universities. New specialist Debbie Worthen did some digging. Debbie, what did you find out? Well, Danny and Mike, I found out that there are nine schools in Utah that offer this program and hundreds of students that apply and enroll in it every year. Now, I'm told it's more extreme than concurrent or AP classes, and that's why historically the payoff at the end has been so big, 30 college credit hours. Now, last week, the graduates received an email that said there were changes that were made and they potentially wouldn't receive that many credits. In fact, it would be reduced significantly. So I made a lot of calls to a lot of different agencies and finally found out some real answers. Oh, I didn't apply to Westminster. Yeah. That's it's been a week full of emotion for Haley Sumter and Maya Thornell, both recent International Baccalaureate Diploma again, recipients, both with plans to attend the University of Utah. I got an email from the IB coordinator. Maya got it too. I'm just very sad, very angry. That email dropped a bomb. So that email comes notifying us of these changes and uh, Total surprise, totally unexpected. We had no idea. Charlie Sumter has watched his daughter work so hard the last two years. Now, instead of the 30 or more credits historically awarded to IB diploma holders. If nothing changes, then I'm going to be getting nine credits. That email implied that due to a new state initiative that intends to standardize classes across all Utah schools, the IB diploma might not be worth much. I was so upset. While the girls got mad. I want them to change this. Charlie tried to find answers, but couldn't. We've been reaching out for answers, and we've been very, the answers we've gotten have been very vague, and I don't know, I'll get back to you. So we started digging too, and he was right. With every call and email, we got information, but nothing that really answered the question, will these students get credit for the diplomas or not? Then we found the right guy. Please don't panic. We are going to make it right. This is University of Utah Registrar Timothy Ebner. We're in a transition. We're always going to want to make sure that students are getting what they thought they should be getting and the total number of credit hours. Ebner says the incoming students this year and next will be the transition, but says the goal, at least at the U. At the end of the day, yeah, we want to make this right. We want to validate the credit that you've earned. Well, Ebner says families that still have questions on this should call the registrar's office of the college that their student plans to attend. He said the IB diploma recipients will get the 30 credit hours, at least here at the University of Utah. Then after this transition period, he says things are really clear for families and they'll have updated information. So there's no question on what's offered at what schools. Dini. Well, a lot of families appreciate you clearing that up, Debbie. Thanks.